I hear you, man. We've all had those days! Back off! Hey, what's happening, everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here. Welcome back to Subnautica! Alright, here we are outside our base, and I'm getting a little lonely outside, so we'll come inside here. Alright, guys. Well, we got plenty of stuff to do. Mm, maybe we'll have a drink of water? No? Cooked food? I can't do anything! Well, one thing I think we should probably start doing is getting ourselves a radiation suit. And uh, this was an idea brought up to Mr. Glitch to do a little more exploration. And to do that, we need to be properly uh, protected against Mr. Radiation. So we're going to find Mr. Creepvine and we're going to cut him to pieces. All right. This is what we're looking for. And we'll just get to work. Just like that! Hey, we got a creep vine sample! Okay, let's get out of here. Thanks! What is this over here? Oh, it's just salvage. We'll take it. And we got a full inventory, and I do some inventory management right now, but I am a wuss. Here, let's grab this guy. Where are you? Oh, I, I have a full inventory! What do you know? This is like a bad area here. This is where you get ganked. All right, here we are. Here's our base. Oh, it's much nicer now that it's all been repaired. So if we come in here, we're gonna uh, we're gonna come into basic materials. I think we're looking for a fiber mesh. So let's make a bunch of this stuff. Oh yeah. So that's what we use. That's what we um use the creep vine for. Is we make our fiber mesh. And now I believe if we come down here, equipment. We're looking for our radiation suit, just like that, guys. We are now completely, oh yeah, completely safe from radiation. I mean, no radiation will ever hurt me ever again. All right. Now, what I'd like to do is actually go to the corpse of my ship. But the problem is, is that I what I'd like to have first is a sea glider. And we've only found, I believe, one part of that. So I'd like to find the other part and go on the build for that. Because last time I was there, there was some really bad stuff over there. There was a guy who, uh, first of all, the the ship is was covered in, like, these spider dudes. So we don't like those guys hanging out near us. And um, there was, like, all these big giant monsters around the, around the ship. So we got to be careful. This game is super cool. Just how they put together, like, the underwater world. Like, how things move and everything. You can tell they definitely put a lot of time into it. And a lot of frame rate, too. If there's anything that, for me, is the big issue with uh, Subnautica is the frame rates. Just how it will do great for a while, and then it will just start getting choppity chop chop chop. Alright, let's see. Is this our sea glide? Uh, probably not. I think we've already... Meh. Yeah, so we've already... Oh, come on! Give me a break, lady! What's this lab counter here? Oh, I, I'm guessing this is something that we can make down the road? That's another thing we'll have to do is start building our, habita our habitation tool. Lab counter! <laughs> Never made a lab counter before. We can make an underwater med station. <laughs> well, did I say that? Give me some air. Give me some air. Someone taking a swing at me? What are you doing, man? I'm just hanging out. Yeah, where are you going? I do like these underwater oxygen givers. Like right here. Oh, fill me up. I don't know exactly how that works, but I buy it. <laughs> Thanks, man. See you around. Uh-oh. Look at this guy. This guy's got green stuff. What's wrong with him? Is he like the Hulk? Alright, we're gonna come down here. This is bad! You know, I need to find a soundtrack that will kick in when bad things are about to happen to me in real life. All right, dude, you don't want to do this. Yeah, I warned you. I warned you. 
Don't say you didn't know about it. Oh, yeah. You hear that? That, I was looking up that thing online. Evidently, that is like one of those creatures. Like, they're giant islands, supposedly. These giant coral islands, and they're, they're not, they're, they're not uh, aggressive or anything, so. That was awesome, because I was playing in my single-player game, and I saw one of those things that literally came right up to my house, my escape pod. It starts pushing and banging around like it owns the thing. You know, I, I, but I was terrified. I was like, get away, stay away. Right. Wow! I hear you, man. We've all had those days! Back off! God! Those things want to keep... Whoop! We got two of them! Jeez, these things are doing damage! Just swinging by. Oh, look, a coffee vending machine! Why, why can't I find those near my house? <laughs> Dude found the coffee vending machine. Mission success. What's this? Uh oh. I never realized how deep I am in this game. Well, am I near my ship now? The, uh, this was not intentional, guys. <laughs> this isn't intentional at all! Oh no! I kid you not, last time I was here, there was a really nasty looking beast. Really nasty looking beastie looking for me. Ooh, stasis ri rifle fragment. Alright, we gotta find another one of those. So much free stuff. Oh yeah. You know something? I think we may have to build this before we go exploring the ship. Just so I can shoot shoot anything in the face oh oh i found our seagull egg. oh sea moth what's a sea moth if you have to ask you can't afford it Ooh, a mobile bay fragment dude i'm making out I'm making out like a bandit i'm about to be eaten like a bandit soon It's, it's kind of funny, like, without having the radiation or having to worry about the radiation. It's, it's really kind of nice. Because I'd always get so close. All right, so here's another sea moth fragment. Let's scoop this up. I have no idea what a sea moth is. Oh, we've unlocked it. Whatever it is. Thanks, computer. Couldn't do this without you. Okay, so this is the mobile bay. All right, we're getting tons of stuff, guys. Another sea moth fragment. I guess we don't have to do this anymore. Oh, so it gives us like stuff. I'm. F oh, I should eat something, is what you're saying? <laughs> you could have just said that. All right, we gotta head back to the base. This is a good score, guys. Can we get inside here? Let's check it out. All right, well, when you're hungry, you're hungry. You don't want to argue with your stomach. All right, let's get out of here and hopefully we won't get eaten. Look at this. This is so awesome. Like, all the schools of fish. I just need to eat one. Where are you guys going? I need to eat one of you. Come on. Help a guy out. Just cover yourself in butter. I'll do the rest. Look at this. Have I already been here? I mean, everything kind of looks the same. Like all the crash sites and everything. So I might have already been here, but it still impresses me. Any uh, coffee vending machines lying around? I might be able to sell to the natives. Oh, yeah. I heard you, buddy. I heard you a ways. Oh, where'd he go? Ha <laughs> ha! You went for the. You fell for the fate! I need to get a real gun. Where are you going? Why do you guys always just get in my face and then run away? Jeez, you're playing by my book. Oh! Ow! Never mind. I like your other strategy. Let's get out of here, guys. Alright. Whew. I kind of like, I feel like I want to towel off right now. 
<laughs> so we want to cook our food. So uh, let's do spongy good eating. I get it. All right. So maybe we'll have one of these guys. And I think we might be able to make some bleach, to tell you the truth. All right, so we need bleach. I don't get how you can make disinfectant water from bleach. All right, common coral sample. Let's just make that right now. All right, let's, first of all, let's let's have some fish. No? Cooked peeper? All right, we'll get that in just a second. Let's just, uh... Here, well, look at this. I think we got some salt here. Emergency. Starvation imminent. I'm fine! I'm okay! All right, let's see if we can. Awesome. So now we can make some bleach. Oh wait, I got I can't make it here. <laughs> and the other thing we have to do is make some a first aid kit. So let's come here. And where is our cooked peeper? So we want to eat this. Oh, thanks computer. Keep hitting the wrong buttons in this game. Did I? Oh, we already we already did this. All right, so we want to come back here. Let's make our bleach. Awesome! Who wants some bleach? Courtesy of vegetarian zombie. Oh jeez, she's always nagging me. Always nagging me. And we want some cooked boomerang. And let's have some disinfectant water. Awesome! So we can go here. We can have our water. Vital signs. Stay You're welcome. We'll have our boomerang, this thingy. And uh, what is this? Gold? Gold. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm blinging it out. Where am I going to put the coffee vending machine? <laughs> Wait, I can assign it? What is this? What is this sorcery? All right. Let's come here. Uh, what do I do? Okay. Put it through. Put it through the combs. Let's see. Uh, I... Looks like... Wait. The life pod coordinates attached. Looks like the forward seamoth bay collapsed around me. Do not attempt rescue without laser cutters. You only add to the body count. Life pod set... What?! Someone's alive? What are you talking about? I gotta save someone's life. I gotta kill them and take their body. I mean, take their stuff. Guys, I came in all wrong. <laughs> I'm not who you... I'm not like that. This isn't that kind of channel. All right, so we want to... I'm just converting this to titanium just to save room. And here, what we can do is we can... Oh, look at that. I didn't save room. I completely filled up filled up my inventory all right so we're gonna need to build like a watertight cooler or something like that so that we can dump some of this stuff underwater all right so we got all this stuff we're gonna need to start building our our base too i keep on hitting escape that is just a habit all right so we come down here to personal tools we need a stasis rifle look at this advanced wiring kit oh, come on game i'm not made of money here all right so we come down here let's see advanced wiring kit we need gold and a computer chip. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's do a little limestone breaking. Actually, guys, what I think... Oh, look at that. Let's go to the rescue. That's what I'm here for. You think anyone's going to try to eat me over here? The sun is setting. Thank you. Ah, oh, look at that. That's one of those giant, giant beasties. Let's bring out the light. Look 
did that guy? Hey, man. Why is everything bloody around here? 30 seconds. Oh, come on! Oh, those are like those dog... Those barking fish. We gotta stay away from those guys. Wow, that was really far down. Okay, so if we come up here, let's just see where the ship is in relation. Ship's over there, so wow. They crashed a little far away. Now, if you're wondering why you can't see anything, don't worry, I can't see anything either. Uh, this is kind of deep. Whoa. Uh, you don't think I'm gonna drown down here, do you? Hey! What's going on? Uh oh. Alright, I'm gonna get up to the surface. Will you shut up? Let's get up there! Come on! Oh my god. Didn't realize how far down I was. Take a deep breath. Whew. You guys ready? Here we go! Honestly, I was kind of wondering about the depth scale. Because, I mean, going pretty, going down pretty deep, you know, that's, that's pretty serious. <laughs> I, I, I know that came out sounding like an idiot, but what I'm, what I mean to say is, you know, depth, it's like right now was it in feet, we'd be 300 feet underwater. All right, let's, uh, PDA. All right, we'll grab that. Anything else we can get in here? How's our oxygen? Oh God, we got to get out. What is that? Is that stuff falling, or is that... What is that? All right, we got to check this place out. Oxygen. I get it! All right, so that's 90 meters down. So one of the things we're going to have to do before drowning... Whew, we're going to have to build one of these... Um, basically, a pump and some pipes and go down there so that we can stay down there instead of just keep on going up and back and so forth. So we'll definitely look at doing that. Oh, look at that. We got another waypoint over there. Oh, God, guys. This place is so not safe. So we'll be working on that. We'll be trying to find our sea glide. And most importantly, we're going to need to get a rifle for this place because I do not feel safe at all. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, if you have any suggestions on where you'd like to go and how you'd like me to do that, definitely leave a note in the comments. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. And, of course, if you are liking this channel... And you like all the content, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. Will you stop that music? <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you then.